Good evening and welcome to this week's video. Um, so the last few weeks we've just had incredible heat here in the UK. You know it's it's been extremely hot and with one thing and another the um, with work the heat and also my daughter's wedding as you can see behind we've got uh, preparations going on for that in a couple of weeks. So needless to say I haven't managed to get a video for this week. I have been out with a camera and got some got some footage and everything for videos for the coming weeks. Um, but for this week, I just thought I'd put together a short video for you. So the um, sort of bit of the theme that I, this week, uh, what I wanted to look at was um, there's a there's a couple of platforms that I use that I I share my photos on and I get inspiration from other photographers. So um, I just want to talk you through. There's there's really four main, possibly five, but there's four main um, sort of platforms that I use on a fairly regular basis one of them been an, a new one that i've just not just discovered but i've, I've just transferred over onto so i'm just going to go through each of them individually and just give you a bit of a background behind them and um, let you know what my feelings are and how much and why i use them and what i enjoy about them okay so the first app i'm, I'm not going to put these in any particular order but the uh, first platform i do uh, enjoy looking at um, this is more possibly an inspirational site i do post uh, photos on to here myself and it's nice getting some feedback etc um, but this platform which is a 500 px is is just uh, a excellent source of um, discovering photographers different genres and just getting inspiration from some absolutely amazing talented photographers from all over the world um, everything is covered on here from um, landscape through to uh, portraits uh, art fine art um, every, everything you want really is is on here um, it is just an incredible source and like I say um, it's you can search around and look at different uh, different genres of photos or just generally browse through um, as you can see from some of these images I'm scrolling down through here uh, it is just an incredible source for inspiration and to get inspirational from from images from like i say these absolutely amazing talented photographers both amateur and professional from all around the world so it is a great platform to post photos yourself it's well worth if you haven't checked out 500px before now it's a free site um, you can pay to go on it um, to get extra addition extra levels but as far as a free site for um, inspiration well worth a look okay so the next platform I use um, is a platform called Viewbug um, like 500px you know it's been around for a while you know they've all been around for some time um viewbug has got a a massive massive audience a massive uh, amount of people on there again you can um use it for inspiration just look at other people's photos um which which is great um but what i'd like to do as well on here um you've got some photo contests uh if you join and you uh, 
become a member i don't think it's overly dear i i don't personally um it gives you access to to loads of different monthly um or competitions that are ran um and they're they're regularly updated um but there are also a selection of a free uh, competitions that you can have a go at um different ones depending on the, the paid ones that you can go into they they have tend to have the better prizes um and the 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 free ones um not such good prizes you know it, it may be a it may be a workshop weekend or you know um different different bundles you know so it's it, but but it's it's well worth entering it's nice to see how how sometimes you compare um to to others um bearing in mind that these competitions have a massive massive entry so you know it, if if you're expecting you know if you come in into the top top sort of 10 percent five percent you've done you've done really well really you know so if you if you and that's coming in the the top percentage you know i'm not saying the top five i'm saying the top five or ten percent of the whole entry uh, you've you've actually done relatively well within that competition so um obviously if you're lucky enough to uh, to get a winning entry then congratulations but uh but yeah the the competitions are are very good so you can also build uh your your own portfolio on there um you can discover other people's photos uh like i say you've got loads of different genres that you can um trend in uh action sports architecture you know there's there's loads as you scroll through loads of different types that you can have a look at for me you know landscapes obviously a massive interest so i can click on that one and scroll through and check out other people's work in the landscape genre and get inspiration and ideas so once again um view bug excellent excellent platform again like i say it has got a free option but you can pay for uh extra extra access um so well worth checking that one out okay so the next one um and why i said at the beginning four maybe five um applications is because i'm gonna link instagram with facebook because they are obviously now linked um so instagram and facebook are um both much much the same um both different in their own rights but as far as um the photography and everything else goes um it's much the same um as most of you are aware uh what can i say about instagram basically personally i am getting absolutely fed up with instagram and the way it is the direction it's taking as a photographer uh it it was a perfect platform to start with it was fantastic you know you could you could link with others you could get feedback uh likes and just build your audience which which obviously you still can uh, the only thing is with instagram now is that it is steering its way towards more videos and your feed now particularly on on my um phone device just all i get all the time is sponsored links of, of stuff i really don't want to see it's just because i've looked at something at one thing or another it just keeps popping up i get pop-up videos um in my feed and i can scroll through sometimes on my phone um through multiple multiple pictures before i actually see something that i actually want because of the of the videos and the um and the sponsored links so yeah it's it's obviously got its uses it's great to get your work out there it's great to get uh, people to see your work uh, but 
personally, because of the analytics and the way Instagram is working at the moment, um, I'm no analytics geek or, uh, or technical in any way. I, I don't fully understand how it all works. All I know is that I get stuff popping up on my feed um, because I've looked at something else or so it then throws stuff on Instagram that it thinks I want to see. And, and at the end of the day, I don't. I want to look at what I want to look at, not what Instagram thinks I want to look at. So, um, so yeah, so Instagram for me is, is starting to diminish massively in my, uh, in my priority list of places to post, along with Facebook. Um, I've, I've got sort of my own personal, I'm a photography page, Facebook account, and I don't post on there hardly so much now because it's just not getting the, it only goes out to um, different different avenues and it's really not getting the exposure and uh, the analytics just aren't working the right way. So for me, like I say, Instagram and Facebook are very, very fast coming right down in my uh, in my estimation and my priority list maybe a, a bit controversial to some people but it is um my opinion okay so the final one uh which is the new one that i've really sort of um to be honest it's been around for a while but i've really only sort of just discovering it along with uh, a few quite a few other photographers um is vero um what i'm liking about vero is that the way it they they say that there's no analytics there's no sponsoring there's no advertising there's no it is just a straightforward platform that you can share your work on you can search you're, you're not going to get bumped up a list because you've got more followers or, or anything you, you are just posting your work for people to see and people can find you you can you can search you can do a do a search for using hashtags um for uh, different genres and then um that will throw up a a list of if you go to the hashtag option and for argument's sake you can go to landscapes um, and then it will throw you up a, a nice list of landscapes you can search for astro um, and at the end of the day it's just a nice platform that you can search through see other people's work you can connect with people um, you can link and you be can become friends and interact uh, which is which is a nice um, it reminds me very much the the way the the layout the format of it reminds me of the early Instagram when Instagram was was really aimed at photographers and and um, Vero it seems to be like that I'm hoping it doesn't go down the same avenue as what Instagram does. Um, I've got it on my laptop here at the moment and it's for some reason it doesn't give me the option to scroll. It works far better on my um on my phone um and media device that I can I can scroll through and I can search and I can scroll down through um different genres, different uh different authors, different different photographers and, and, and have a look at individual work. Um and connect and uh, like and connect they can see who it is and 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 it's it's just it's it just seems a nice simple no thrills platform to uh to to get your work out there and, and just interact with people so for me vero it it initially it's getting the thumbs up from me so like i say i'm hoping that it will uh continue and I can I can get more out of it as as I get more into it. I'm I'm only literally a week been on it a week, um, and and just getting getting the feel of how it works. But but initial uh, impressions are that I I do I am quite enjoying it. So 
yeah my my thumbs up out of these goes to Vero without without a doubt okay so um, like I say not out and about this week or not not on video wise um, so just giving you a bit of insight as like I say it's my own personal preference that I'm not being paid there's there's no um, financial reward or nobody's approached me this is just my own personal appearance uh, my own personal preferences of a few um, media platforms that I use to to share and inspire myself um, there's obviously others out there that uh, plenty of others that other people use and you know everybody to their own um, you know I'm, I'm not saying this is the ones you should use but it's it's just the ones I do use and it's it's my preferences so um, that was my reasons behind this so hopefully you've enjoyed this video next week like I say I've been out been out and about uh, back in the woodlands and searching scouting out ready for the autumn colors that are just around the corner because of the because of the sun the leaves seem to be turning very very quick this year so um so uh more sort of videos to come so if you uh want to check out some of my previous videos and also if you like what i've seen please give the video a thumbs up that would be much appreciated and hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with all the latest content and drop me a comment down below i'd uh, like to know what you think particularly of these um these different the apps the, the different platforms i use and what your your feelings are or if there's any others that you you enjoy using you know um drop a comment down below so until next time take it easy